MarketLine contains international company reports, market research, and data sets. Industries covered include consumer goods, energy, finance, healthcare, and technology. Market analysis and forecasting looks at major issues and threats for each sector with analytical commentary and data. In addition, company SWOT analysis is also available. To locate MarketLine, you can come to the Ford Library page and either search for it by using the Databases tab and typing it out, or locate the database by coming to the A to Z list and dropping down to MarketLine. You'll enter your NetID and password. At the top, you'll notice that we have different areas that we can do research in, beginning with sectors. There's also a link for companies where you can search for a specific company or create a company list. Geographies, if you want to search for countries and get more information on them. And then these last two tabs, we have databases and analysis. This allows you to go into a little bit of a deeper dive into those industries. So if you wanted to get industry to statistics to download to Excel, you can do that. You can also go into analysis, and what I've found to be most helpful is that they do have case studies that are provided by MarketLine. So for today's demonstration, I want to show you how you can locate a company. Then I'm going to show you how we can look at a list of companies or create a list of companies. And then last, we'll go into our sectors and look at market research. So let's start with Amazon. And instead of searching for all research, I want to change this to company profiles. That just allows us to go in and look specifically at this company. We have a list here that includes the company name, whether they are a parent, subsidiary, or independent, as well as their headquarters. So I want the parent company, and in this case it's located here as Amazon.com. What we have now is an overview of the company. So we've got a summary of what they do and some financial information. We can also check the size of the company by the number of employees. So this is a very large company. They also give you some basics like their telephone number, their website, um, and their ticker symbol. Below that, we have links to their research reports. And in this case, these are case studies. We can also look at deals they've been involved with. So these are going to be uh, things like M&A. We can also go into their SWOT analysis. So if you want to see those strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats detailed, you can find those here. From the profile, you can also locate information including, um, again, things like their products and services. The company statement, which will include the management discussion from the latest 10K, and then things like who are their key employees. And you can also get a history. So we can look at a history of their M&A, and this will give you a timeline of those activities as well as expansions, recalls, etc. Also to the left we have their financials. So they give us some announcements to begin with and then they also give us uh, the annual financial statements. Uh, if you click detailed you can get a bit more. There are also ratios here. And you can come down to the bottom where they have these different financial charts. And if you want, you can compare them with their peers. So this is saying all financial charts, we could go in and just create our own view for this. But I'm just going to leave it at all. And you'll note now those, those companies have been added. Returning back to the overview, note that you can export this entire report here either as a PDF 
or Word document. Now let's look at how we can create a list of companies. So today I'm going to use as an example uh, how we can go in and find publicly traded um, car manufacturers. I would highlight right here that they have these browse key lists. So if there's um, a list that's quite popular, you can go in and locate it here. So top wealth managers, they'll list that out for you. You can also, and just note, I'm going to go in and take this out. That way I can come back to my original list. You can also come in here and let's take a look at those automotive companies. So I can say I am looking for those that are involved in vehicle manufacturing. And I'm going to leave this as worldwide and go in and select company attributes. And you'll note that we could uh, sort this or uh, filter this by the number of employees or revenues. I'm just going to do a very simple thing and say I just want publicly traded companies and then click show results. And here's our table. We can now export this to Excel. So that's a way you can go in and create lists of companies. Last, we're going to take a look at those sectors or those industry reports. So I can go up here and select these. So I'm looking, let's go back to our automotive um, search. Now we want to look at industry profiles. You'll notice at the beginning they're giving us um, the latest industry profiles for this. This is a July 2019. If this was not the sector that you wanted, you wanted to further drill down, you can go in and open this up and select exactly what you're looking for. I am good with what we have here, but you note that we can also say we're looking for, say, manufacturing, auto manufacturing in Europe. And I'll click Show Results, and this will break it down um, by country. If we click one of these on, we can take a look at what's included. And here's our report. They start with an executive summary. And with each of these areas, they will go into further discussion. So you'll see through the table of contents that it's quite a lengthy report. It does include five forces analysis and then some information on the methodology for this report. So that's just a brief overview of what's available in MarketLine. I would encourage you to try it and see what else you can locate. If you have questions or comments about this or any other resource, please visit our homepage and reach out to us by chat, phone, or email.